Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Too often, we give our power away to something outside of ourselves and rarely, if ever, trust and tap into our innate healing power and intuition. Everyone has this capability to heal in ways we never thought possible. It's your sovereign right to claim and have true health and lasting wellness. Now, here is the host of the Dr. Dolores Show, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in our wonderful world. Welcome to another episode of the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, and we're on Inspired Choices Network. I got a question for you. Do you trust yourself? I mean, do you really trust yourself? I mean, that's a question to ponder. Or are you afraid to trust yourself? Maybe things have happened where in your life where maybe you thought you were going to be doing something and sometimes we betray ourselves and the trust muscle kind of gets weakened and we just kind of give up and don't trust and kind of hide in a box and are, start become disconnected. Well, on today's show, we're going to be talking about trust yourself. And let me just read a little bit about what to expect here. Um, in our latest episode, Trust Yourself Now, we live in a, a world that's buzzing with doubt and uncertainty. We're going to discover the power of cultivating unshakable confidence from within, tapping into the secret sauce that is innately you. In this episode, um, this is going to be your roadmap to unlocking the secrets of self-trust designed to empower you with practical strategies and profound insights. So, you know, welcome everybody. And, you know, trust is is um, something that I've been working with as of late um, as well. I too am a lifelong student of being human and working on getting that PhD in being human as we enter the school of earth. So trust is a big, is a big component of, you know, what allows us to connect with our, our deepest parts of ourselves and to get that wisdom and that information that comes from within us. You know, those things like, I don't know what, how I got that information, but I just know what I know what I know. And it's just like, you know, you need to trust that. So, you know, what is self-trust? And I'm just going to read from my notes here. Self-trust is the belief and confidence in one's abilities, judgments, and decisions. It involves having faith in your capacity to make sound choices, take appropriate actions, and navigate through life's challenges. When you trust yourself, you rely on your own intuition, values, and competence. And I'm going to add, no matter what is going on around you, okay? You're not being drawn into somebody else's stuff or beliefs or projections because there's a lot of that going on in collective consciousness people say well you should be doing this and you should be doing that and that's not true and I want you to be aware too where you do that to other people because sometimes we do that when you are you know talking to somebody and you say well you should do this and you should do that Sometimes we try to fix it for other people when they don't even want our input. And so it's about really being aware of where you are interjecting things and trusting your instincts on that. Um, sometimes it's an okay thing to do. Sometimes it's not. And I'm just going to go a step further. I don't know if people know this, but when you project your stuff onto other people, and tell them what to do. It's almost like, especially when you are, I'm going to say projecting what you feel they should be doing. It's almost like you're putting your power onto them so they will take that on and create or heal what they, what you're possibly needing to heal or create through them. And it's kind of a real twisted way of interfering with a person's karma. OK, it's just like sometimes when we tell people what they need to do, it takes away their ability to 
step into their free will and to make the right decisions for themselves. And you have to understand it's a dance. A lot of times people aren't aware that they're giving their power away, or maybe they are aware and they don't trust themselves to make the right choices for themselves. So it's kind of real twisted in in an aspect here. And let's just see if we can untwist that because it's really not serving anybody and helping anybody as well too. So, you know, getting back to, um, you know, self-trust and what it is, building self-trust often involves developing a strong sense of self-awareness, understanding your strengths and weaknesses and being honest with yourself. It also requires knowledge, past, uh, acknowledging and knowledge, because <laughs> you're getting knowledge from your past events, Acknowledging past successes and learning from what we label as mistakes. I don't consider them mistakes. They're just learning opportunities. Cultivating self-trust can be an increase, uh, can lead to increased self-esteem, resilience, confidence, and a greater sense of empowerment in, in, you know, in all aspects of your life. So, you know, what are some key things that we could do to, to help us, help ourselves here. Defining what, you know, trust is and self-trust is, is really important. And I think we kind of went, went over that. I think too often we go through life and, you know, we've had our share of disappointments, betrayals, or whatever it is that have shut us down a little bit. And, um, keeps us, you know, I want to say bound because we aren't able to open up and and allow things to flow. We've kind of put this cocoon around ourselves to protect us. Yet sometimes it becomes a hindrance because we just keep ourselves stuck. Okay. And trusting self is more about taking baby steps. I know I went through a period in my life uh, a ways back where so many things had happened so quickly. And um, especially when you are a very trusting person um, or what my family used to call like um, gullible. <laughs> I hate that word, but I also want to say I'm just not gullible. I am curious and innocent because the any innocence is what keeps us curious. Yet sometimes when we don't have discernment or haven't developed the discernment part of who we are, that can ha that can happen. So the discernment part is about learning to trust your instincts. It's almost like doing um, learning how to walk. Okay, it's like you take a step. And, you know, sometimes you you stumble, you pick yourself up. Okay, you know, you stumbled on that thing. So let's take, let's continue to move forward. But now you have this awareness of what you stumbled upon. So you could use that as knowledge to create a, another filter to allow you to see through that. Now, that's a good thing as long as you are not beating yourself and going into the fear mode about, oh my God, I'm gonna make a mistake. It's like, okay, it's in your periphery. You know, it's there. That's not where I need to go without adding drama or, or um, react to it. It's about, okay, so yes, there's an obstacle there. And yeah, maybe I fell down that obstacle and okay, now I'm over that obstacle and I'm aware of it, but I'm not letting it mold my whole future. It's like you're aware of it. So, you know, you really don't want to go there, but you're not putting a lot of attention on it. So it's like you maneuver away from it. Because remember, whatever you focus your attention on, you're going to create more and more of that. So it's just an awareness that it's there. You're not focusing on that. And okay, it's a feel thing. So when that happened, you you probably had this um, you had this plethora of emotion that came up. 
Okay, so you feel that, what that's all about, where that came from. And when you're able to come to a point of neutrality with that trigger, it no longer has an impact on you. Yes, it will be in your in your peripheral vision, but it's not influencing where you're going as you, you're walking your path with trust as you move forward, okay? So it's kind of interesting because sometimes those things will weasel their way in and try to get your attention to throw you off your course. And what I'm saying is that when you have looked at that, felt what that felt like to have that experience and keep it in check, you know, there's wisdom that you gain from that as you move forward on your path. So we're what we've just shared is really about being self-aware, okay? It circles back to that. Self-awareness is so important in building your own self-trust. And, you know, so look at in your life where, you know, there's been the wins and what you label the losses, your strengths and what we label our weaknesses, our values and our goals. And to, you know, just make a list mentally or if you journal, make a list of that as well, where, you know, these things could... Um, you know, it's it's all part of being self-aware and seeing how the dots have connected. You know, learning from things that we label as mistakes, you know, making mistakes or I I just don't like that word mistakes because they're experiences. We label them as mistakes or wins or whatever. Um, they are just learning opportunities, okay? They're possibilities where you're going to gain a lot of gold nuggets. And if you're wise enough to look at it from that perspective and not get caught into all the drama that goes around, oh my God, you know, I'm gonna da, 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 go, don't go down the fear rabbit hole, please. It's just like, no, this is not what this is all about. This is about, about just observing what's going on and taking the gold nuggets from the experience. Um, you know, like I say, I joke about this. We're here on planet Earth getting a PhD and being human. And it's not for the weak of heart. You know, we're, we're working on gathering information so we could um, do our dissertation and graduate. It's that simple. And when you look at it from that perspective, we're all in learning phase. Um, whether we acknowledge that or not, it's just constantly part of who we are and part of our experience. Another thing to keep in mind too is being honest with yourself. Um, part of really digging deep is just looking at all the aspects of who you are the things that we love about ourselves and the things that we don't love so much, because these are all part of who you are. Um, and just being able to accept, you know, those aspects of yourself as well, you know, all the aspects, the good ones and the not so good ones that we label that way. Um, it brings, you know, honesty with yourself brings a lot of authenticity to who you are as, as a human being and a soul here on earth. You know, we talk about goal setting too, and setting goals, I think are, are important. It, it allows you to have structure. I also feel that setting realistic goals um, that are achievable are of the utmost importance. I think sometimes we reach for the stars and then we get disappointed when the stars don't show up. So, you know, it's the old analogy. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Yes, you have maybe this huge goal that you want to accomplish in your lifetime. And, you know, break it down into little bite-sized pieces on how, you know, you start with one thing and it leads to the next piece, to the next piece, to the next piece. You know, I'm not to say that, you know, it can't possibly happen. Sometimes if the circumstances are right, it does. But in realistic terms, it's like just, you know, allow yourself to be in the flow of manifesting this goal. 
because you never know where the universe is going to take you on that journey to that goal. And the goal is, you know, it's great to have goals, but it's the journey to get to the destination is where all the richness is. So we've been talking about building trust today, and we're getting ready to go on our first break. And you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And when we come back, we'll learn more about things you could do to establish and build more trust for yourself. So stay tuned and see you when we come back. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to The Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we're talking about trust yourself now. This is the episode today. And before our break, we were talk, you know, kind of talking about what self-trust is and some things that we could do to assist ourselves from that. And I noticed that Sarah mentioned something from what we were talking about. And, and she said, that was a big one for me to stop stop doing, uh, telling people what they should do. Love that I changed that. Good for you, Sarah. That's awesome. Because in what we were talking about is that how many we, how many times we project onto people what they should be doing or or uh, could be doing in the form of trying to be helpful, when in essence that person hasn't even asked for our assistance. It's almost like we're projecting what we think they need onto them to take on as their own. And so, you know, look at in your life where what it felt like when other people told you what you should be doing versus what you wanted to be doing. And just to recap on that, sometimes when we project our will onto other people, it interferes with their karma. Um, and, you know, you don't want to be doing that. It's just like, just allow people to be who they are and just be able to hold the space for them and listen to, um, to them. Oftentimes people just want to be heard. I mean, it's that, it's that simple, you know, so that's the gift that we could give to somebody holding that space. So they're heard. So let's circle back here to, um, more about trusting yourself and, some of the things that people, you know, some components that are really important about trusting yourself, you know, um, your intuition and your gut feelings and decision making, I think are key. Um, I just encourage people to trust your gut no matter what's going on. And I know that, you know, we have lived through, um, humanity has lived through a pandemic, you know, the, um, 
the COVID-19 thing and we're out of it, it's 2024 now. But, you know, during that time, it really brought people up to the wall, basically, about trusting their intuition versus being told what to do by the outside. And I'm going to speak from my own personal experience on that because um, I lived it. And, you know, for those of us, those of you who know that I still practice in the clinical setting, I'm an assistant surgeon, and I assist on surgical procedures, and I was still working during the time of the COVID crisis. And, you know, everything was great until, you know, the vaccine came out. And then all of a sudden, there was a mandate that everybody needed to get the vaccine. And, you know, right when that was coming out, I checked in with my higher self and my intuition, and it was screaming at me do not take it. So I knew for me that this was not an option, yet I needed to go into situations where I was going to be um, told what I needed to do versus what is in my best interest, okay? Um, So I was very fortunate that I was able to stand my ground and through like the legal uh, civil rights people and, and, and civil rights attorney that I had contacted, I was able to maneuver through that without being vaccinated because I knew for me, it wasn't the right thing to do. Now for other people, it was very interesting. They, they bought into the external, oh, you know, the science says this. And when you're, when you're working with a bunch of people, And I was working with a bunch of physicians and stuff. And they said, well, don't you believe in the science? I said, you know what? My intuition is screaming at me. Don't do it. I said, I trust my intuition. My intuition trumps any evidence-based thing that you claim that you, you have. So I have to trust that. And I said, plus I've lived in this Taj Mahal my whole entire life. And I know what can it can handle and what it can't. And I need to honor that. So doing so, I stepped into my power and trusted myself. And I'm very happy that I did because looking back in 2024 over what's happened and transpired over the last several years, we are finding more and more things that are not supportive of the vaccination and so on and so forth. And that's for another conversation and another time. But I'm just saying that this is where sometimes your intuition comes in. And you just need to trust that because you know, without a doubt, that if you you did not trust that, you would be going down a different pathway that, you know, with a different set of lessons. So that's why trusting your, in, your intuition and your gut is so important because this is what's important and what is necessary for you as an individual, not everybody else in society. It's learning how to step into your inner wisdom, gain access to that knowledge and trusting the information that you get. And sometimes that could be a bit scary because our natural tendency is to jump into our head and start going into self-doubt. And, oh no, what will everybody think? And blah, 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 blah. It's the ego trying to take over and trying to make you safe when in essence it's, they're, they're, um, what is that? They're, they're trying to camouflage or be a chameleon, that your ego is being a chameleon to what is kind of going on on the outer world. So please, please, please trust your gut. Learn how to tap into that wisdom that's within yourself. So, so, so important. And for those people who have problems with that, it's about being grounded in your body. And I could help you with that. There is a guided meditation to get you grounded in your physical body on my website. It's free. Please go and download that. It's um, it's called um, Being in the Present Moment, a guided video, guided meditation video. It's awesome. And it's short and it'll help you. And you know, moving on to the other thing, we talk about being intuitive, but also what are we saying to ourselves? Our self-talk is really huge too. If you are, you know, there's so many thoughts that go through our mind on a daily basis. And it's all the things that we say to ourselves in the quiet of our mind where you think nobody else is listening, but your body, your mind, and your soul are. 
okay? How often do we say things to ourselves that are unkind, mean, degrading, disempowering, and disrespectful? Seriously, how many times do you call yourself, you know, worthless? Or I'm not good enough, or I'll never accomplish anything. If that's you, I, I invite you to stop right now in this moment. Your words are so powerful, you have no idea. Your words create things quickly, especially in our time and the time and place that we're in right now. People have noticed how things seem to be speeding up. Yes, they are. Whatever you think gets created before the thought is, is complete. It's that fast. And if you really want to play with that, I invite you to think about something negative and just focus on that. And you will see how it's starting to ripple into something else that's negative and negative and negative. Just imagine if you're able to pivot and switch that to thinking something positive, like I'm happy today, I'm filled with joy. It's going to pivot and change and it's gonna create more and more things that you're gonna be joyful and happy about. It's just the way the law of attraction works. And we're in the driver's seat, folks. You have control over that, nobody else does. So I invite you to flip that switch and just start focusing on that. And it's not about being positive toxicity. This is about focusing on words that are higher vibrating. For instance, if you focus on the word love, that's a vibration, okay? It's a higher frequency. This is how energy works. Like attracts like. When you think about love, you're going to be creating more possibilities of instances coming to you that are aligned with that vibration of love. Same thing's true about thinking about, you know, unworthiness and not liking yourself. You're going to create more and more things that are aligned to honor that. It's that simple. So when you are thinking about words, be kind to yourself. You're labeling this vessel, which is almost 70% water with a word. So your whole body is resonating with that word and that vibration and changing your body chemistry. For those who are really curious about that, go to visit Dr. Emoto, uh, Masaru Emoto. He studied water and he has passed away, but his research is pretty incredible about changing the composition of water by labeling it with words. This is a vessel here of water, 70%. When we label it with a positive word or a negative word, guess what? We change the, cre the creation and the composition of that water. Something to think about. So we talk about positive self-talk. When we are able to focus on, you know, love, appreciation, you're going to gain more love and appreciation in your world. That's just the way it goes. Consistency and reliability be consistent and reliable and true to your words in your life because this is about showing up for yourself so you could trust yourself. You know, think about supportive relationships. You know, surround yourself with people who are of like mind, of like energy. Sometimes we have to go through major purges of things in our life versus purging your closets at home for things that no longer are aligned with who you are. And this also includes purging people who are in your life that are not aligned with where you are. And this might be your close family members too. You know, you could just, it's not about stopping a relationship, ending a relationship. It's just like, sometimes you just have to pull away a little bit because you're no longer aligned with what's going on. This is all self-care. Okay, it's about allowing things to naturally fall away sometimes by attrition or whatever, so that it creates a possibility and a space for something to come into your space that's more aligned with 
who you are and where you're going. It's that simple. Be mindful about where you're attached to letting go of things that are no longer allowed or are no longer in alignment with who you are. Like going through your closet, you have clothes in there that you haven't worn in five or six years, but you keep saying, oh yeah, I'll get to it. I'm going to wear that again. You, you know, I'm going to call bullshit because you know that's not going to happen. So it's time to get rid of that and just learn and trust that, you know what, if you look later, you know, in six months and you were looking for it and you can't find it, well, maybe it's time to get something new that's more aligned with who you are now. Think about that. So we've been talking a lot about, you know, your intuition, your positive self-talk and being consistent and, and reliable and looking for supportive relationships in your life. So, you know, we're going to break again. I can't believe it's that time. And when we come back, we're going to talk more about some things that you could do to learn how to trust yourself. So you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Vizino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And you're listening to the Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. See you when we come back from break. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Vizino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresvizino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to The Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network, and I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we've been talking about Trust Yourself Now. This is the episode today, and we're kind of going over the whole thing about self-trust and what are the important keys to remember, because so many of us have gone through so much in our lives that sometimes we just kind of give up the dream of trusting yourself and thinking that, oh my God, you know, this is what all I get. And, you know, it's not going to get any better than that. I'm here to invite you to know that this can be different. It's, you can learn how to trust yourself. You just take baby steps. It's a process. It's not a destination. You're constantly learning and growing. And, you know, before we went on break, we were talking about trusting your intuition and tapping into that and allowing that to be influence, influential in your decision making. Um, we're talking about positive self-talk, you know, what the things we say to ourselves and the privacy of our mind and the vibration and, and what can happen when, when you, when you uh, plant negative uh, self-talk seeds or positive self-talk seeds. We also talked about being consistent and reliable and true to yourself being in integrity with yourself, so important. And the importance of being um, with people who support you and not being afraid to allow things to fall away if they're no longer in alignment with who you are without attachment. You know, it's also important to remember that you're, you're continually growing when you're here. 
in a physical body. You're continually growing and learning. It's not like you reach a destination and then, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to learn anymore. I, I, I'm not going to, I have news for you. You're constantly learning. And I circle back to this again. It's like, you're all here getting your PhD and being human. And this is all part of the process, learning to trust. So, you know, just to recap, you know, being honest with yourself, you know, just remember to accept, you know, look at just from a bird's eye view, from a, a witnessing type of thing, the strong, your strong suits and your not so strong suits and the things you want to improve on. It's just, that's, that's important. Um, so I want to say some of the takeaways that are so important to, um, being, you know, our discussion today and our self-talk and stuff is like, embrace your imperfection. Okay. I think so many of us focus on wanting to be perfect and show up perfect. And, um, we're, it's, if it's not perfect, we, we strive to make it perfect. How maddening is that? I mean, seriously, when you sit back and you kind of look at that, it's just like, that's crazy making. It really is. You know, I'm a recovering perfectionist. I mean, that was all part of my MO in growing up because, you know, the underlying issue sometimes was just to gain attention from my parents or to make me feel important when I felt like I wasn't getting the the strokes and the the nurturing and the um, the accolades that you know I felt that I needed to get in order to make myself feel like I was important. So it's something to really look at. Um, for those of you who are perfectionists, <laughs> I invite you to listen in the future because we're going to have an episode for you on that coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks. Resilience through learning. Sometimes, you know, you feel like there's a setback on your path and it, you feel like, oh my God, it's the end of the world. I'm going to invite you to possibly look at that in a different perspective. Sometimes things happen to us to realign us, to get us onto the right path of where we're supposed to be going instead of where we think we should be going, okay? Sometimes we, our ego thinks that we are, um, we have it figured out and we're gonna do it a certain way and attain it a certain way. And this, one, this is when we have blinders on and we don't get to see the gifts that the universe is providing to us um, as other possibilities. And sometimes the universe throws us a pivot to gain our um, awareness that maybe there is another possibility to look at that. So I invite people to, you know, if you have a setback, look at it in a different perspective. Maybe you're getting upgraded to a different possibility. When you go back to the energetics of things, maybe, you know, you lose your job or you lose a contract or you lose, you know, something and it's no longer aligned with who you are, number one, okay? Because maybe when you got that job or that contract, you were a different person, a different energy and you're way different now because you're continually learning and evolving even though you don't think you are, you are are you don't you know aren't aware about it you are doing that and so when it's no longer an energetic alignment it falls away but you don't have something to replace that you kind of go into panic mode and fear down this rabbit hole it's like oh shoot you know what's going to happen now i invite you to stop take a deep breath and just focus on the fact and thank it for saying you know thank you for you have the reverence of saying thank you for that opportunity that you've given me to get me to this point. I appreciate and accept that and I wish you well. And so you close the door on that and you create a void so something else could come in that's more aligned to who you are. It's really that simple. It's about really learning how to 
not have attachment to things that are no longer part of who you are. It'll be like balls and chains energetically around your ankles as you move forward. And gosh, you don't want that. You want to be able to step lightly on this earth and, and just to go with the flow. So that's resilience and learning and taking those, those gold nuggets and just being open to possibilities. Be in the flow of your life and just trust that the next thing will be there for you. And I'm going to circle back to this story because I just love this. Um, every year, instead of setting a New Year's resolution, I pick a word for the year. I kind of check in with myself and my higher self and just feel what is the word or the theme of the year. And this year, the theme for the year is trust. So I kid you not, I'm driving down the road. I stop at a stop sign and the car in front of me, the license plate said, trust life. Now, the universe has a great sense of humor. I mean, come on now. Isn't that like crazy? And it was a validation for me to trust life. So I invite you to trust life because even though we can't see what's happening, things are happening behind the scenes. Even though we can't see what the next step might be behind the scenes, things are getting aligned and put into place for your next step. You just have to be patient and trust. And whenever you want to go down the rabbit hole, go back to trust. And when you want to go down the rabbit hole again, even worse, trust. And just take a deep breath and focus on the word trust and see what happens. There's nothing to do, nothing to figure out. It's just about allowing and being and tapping into the energy of trust and allowing it to move you to where you need to go and where you're being led by spirit source, the universe next. It's that simple. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Feel what you're feeling. It's not a weakness, it's actually a strength. We don't want to do bypasses and what I call by bypasses, like be, oh, somebody and I had a discussion this morning about people who are just happy-go-lucky all the time. And even, you know, it's almost like toxic positivity, which is like when they're always like Pollyanna and everything's fine, no matter what is going on, it's almost like they've kind of disconnected from the situation and put their fingers in the ears and goes la 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 la. I'm saying that being positive is great. Being realistic is important. It's like, yes, it's okay to feel things that come up on your pathway. Please don't get stuck on it, but it's an essential part. You don't want to bypass what those feelings are, are um, igniting within you, within you to say that, you know, everything is just hunky dory. That's like doing a spiritual bypass. Okay. You're not experiencing what you need to experience in order to get to your next step. Okay. And so just be aware of, you know, always being positive and stuff like that. Yes, it's important to be positive and it's okay to experience the bumps in the road as well. Remember, you are here as a human having a human experience. These are part of the process of navigating and experiencing the human essence, okay? Remember, we're working on our PhD and being human. So be vulnerable, experience what you're feeling and allow yourself to come to neutrality with it. Don't get stuck in it. Allow yourself to experience it, gain the gold nuggets, and then move forward. Shifting your mind is huge, too. A lot of times it's so easy when things are bad that we just go down the fear rabbit hole. I invite you to go through the peace and love rabbit hole instead. Celebration rabbit hole, okay? We're celebrating. We're having, um, you know positive things happening. And I'm not saying toxic positivity. I'm saying celebrate 
from the period of growth that you've attained. You know, yes, experience what you're experiencing, you know, that difficulty, but I invite you not to go down to the fear. Okay, maybe touch on it, but don't stay there because we don't want to create more and more of that. We want to experience that, take the gold nuggets and then move forward. So my gosh, I can't believe we're ready for our next break. Uh, you're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Vizino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And you are listening to our show on Inspired Choices Network. So when we come back, we'll talk, we'll recap about trust and talk about what's to come. See you when we come back. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to The Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. We're talking about Trust Yourself Now. This is the episode of today. And I'm Dr. Dolores Vizino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And, you know, just to recap, we've just been talking about how you can learn how to trust yourself again, especially when you have um, shut yourself down and you don't trust yourself at all. And um, your life, you feel like you're contained in a container that you just can't move your stuff. So hopefully what we talked about today in today's episode will help you get unstuck and to offer you some hope and inspiration as you move forward. So just to recap about what we talked about, you know, some of the most important things to gaining self-trust is this. I want to say embrace your imperfection and growth. And just remember that your life is a journey. It's not a destination. You're learning and growing every day. I want to take that back. Every nanosecond that you're alive, you are learning and growing and you're experiencing. And, you know, yes, there's going to be highs and lows, bumps in the road. But imagine that you're you're like a canoe going down a river and your oars are up and you're just allowing the river to the flow of the river to take you down the river around the courses and just knowing and trusting that you're going to get to the, your destination without too much drama. <laughs> you're, you're not going to capsize. You're going to maneuver and float through the river with ease and grace. Being vulnerable. So important. It's the part of you that's being genuine and authentic. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. And if other people are uncomfortable around you because of that, that's on them. It has nothing to do with you at all. They're just not comfortable with their own vulnerability. So I invite you just to be vulnerable and surround yourself with people who will support you and find your tribe and your community. Because our big focus now as we move into the new uh, era in the world is like, it's like focusing and aligning with people who are like-minded, share the same values, and um, are supportive. It's about we, not I, okay? Um, and just empowerment in choices. Make your choices aligned with your values. Cut, step in and trust your, you know, ask your higher self and inner wisdom to help you with what you're wanting to accomplish. And just allow yourself to hear what inspiration that you get. It might be just a, a subtle hint that you need to go to like Starbucks or something. And you're thinking to myself, oh my God, why do I want to go to Starbucks? 
Well, you go there and you find out that you meet somebody who has another piece to your puzzle. That you, if you ignored that little piece of subtle information, you would have missed the opportunity to connect with that person. So trust what you're getting and follow through on that. So, you know, I know we covered quite a bit today about trust and trust yourself now. And I just invite you to look at the serendipities in your life because so many times we think nothing is happening, yet when we observe what's happening outside of ourselves in our periphery, you could see all these wonderful things that are all tied together in ways you never thought possible. So next week, we're going to be talking about making peace with uncertainty. Uncertainty is like another big thing that's kind of happening in collective consciousness. And, you know, not only that, there's a lot of uncertainty within each one of us individually. And how we are able to move through that can be assistive to creating a solid foundation to where we need to go in the future. So just a little bit about next week's episode I'll share with you here. Embark on a transformative journey with our episode, Making Peace with Uncertainty, where we unravel the mystique around life's unpredictabilities. The riveting exploration invites you to shift your perspective on uncertainty. From a source of anxiety to a wellspring of opportunity, join Dr. Dolores as we unveil the secrets of finding serenity in the midst of chaos and empower you with practical strategies to dance with the unknown. This episode dwells into the roller coaster of emotions and mazes of unknowns that define uncertainty. Discover the unexpected beauty that emerges when we surrender to the flow of life and learn how to navigate career shifts, relationships, and unforeseen challenges with grace. Prepare, be prepared to be inspired, uplifted, and motivated to reframe your relationship with uncertainty, recognizing the untapped potential that arises when we let go the need for absolute control. So this is for people who <laughs> are control fiends and maybe recovering control fiends or anyone else who needs to um, just really look at embracing, you know, uncertainty and how we could embrace that and allow it to be part of us and allow us to navigate through life and with more wonder and joy versus thinking that gloom and doom and, you know, fear and, and uh, whatever that is, you know, that rabbit hole. No, we don't do that rabbit hole anymore. We go down the other one of uh, more positive and being aware and mindful and discerning. So as we kind of end this day here, I'm just going to reach out to people too that I've got some things to share. Um, I'm going to be part of a summit that's going to be part of Inspired Choice in its network. It's called um, It's Time to Get Things Done. I've probably messed up on the name, but that's one summit that I'm a part. Oh, it's Take Action Now. Thank you, Sarah. Take Action Now. And that's going to be the beginning of February. I believe it's February 1st on a magical day. So there'll be more information about that. And I'm also part of another summit. Um, it's Linda Joy's summit, um, or actually it's a free giveaway. So if people are interested in gaining 80 different tools for free to inspire you, there's another link that I'm going to provide for you as well that you could go there and to check that out. And it's the Inspired, uh, Inspired Joy event. And um, anyway, these are two things that I think that are going to be really important for people. And if you want to learn more, we will have the links for you in um, the content. So with that being said, I just wish you all a great week. I will see you next week and just know that you are loved more than you can imagine. You are worth it. And it's time for you to trust yourself now. Take care.
Thank you for listening to The Dr. Dolores Show. Dr. Dolores returns Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and create your best life. You are worth it.